welcome back to Grace's room. So in case you don't know, we're back in quarantine again and I've been a little bit bored. Uh, we start homeschooling in a few days and I'm kind of running out of things to do. There's only so many things you can do at home. Um, but I've been seeing a lot of people dyeing their own hair while they're in quarantine and that made me really want to dye my own hair. Obviously you're not going to do anything permanent. Um, I just want something that will wash out after like a week or so um, and the good thing is if it doesn't turn out well at least no one will be able to see it because we're indoors. So I'm going to now head down to the shops and try and find a product and a colour that will be right for my hair. Okay so I found the brand of hair dye that I think I want to use. They have a lot of colours though so I have no idea which one I'm leaning towards. Probably more of like a pink or a purple. Uh, you know what, maybe purple. I think purple, I like purple, so I think that'll be good. But, um, oh, they've got two different types of purples. Oh, maybe I'll use this one. It might show up more in my hair, but I think I'm gonna need a few packets, though, because my hair's really thick, and um, it's also, like, brown, so it might need more dye to show up in my hair. Okay, so I've got the hair dye now. I've never actually dyed my hair before, um, so I'm honestly a little bit nervous to see how it turns out, but I'm also really excited. Hopefully it works. I read um, that apparently a rinse hair dye wouldn't really work as well on my hair since I have like really dark brown hair. So um, apparently semi-permanent would be better for my hair. So hopefully this will do the job. Okay, so we're back home now and I was reading through the instructions and it says that I need to wash and dry my hair first. This might help the product like take to my hair a little bit better, so I'm gonna go do that now. Okay, so my hair's all washed now and it's all dried too. Um, and now it's time for the really fun but a little bit nerve wracking part. Um, I'm gonna start dyeing my hair. So uh, the dye's in here, it looks very purple. I really hope that this works. Um, we're down here in my laundry just because apparently this dye is like really messy. I don't really wanna stain the bathroom walls all um, <laughs> purple and everything. So that's why we're down here. I'm wearing my poncho, a towel, and an old t-shirt underneath. I am all geared up. We've also got something on the ground too. So hopefully it's not too messy. I also put this barrier cream around my um, like hairline and like my ears and everything just because apparently like it might stain my face and so I've got to make sure I don't have <laughs> purple all around here. But I think I'm ready to go now. Fingers crossed this works. Like I said before, I've never dyed my own hair. So I'm going to get my mum to apply the... Thank you, the colour of my hair. Fingers crossed this works. Okay. Um, well, I wasn't really sure if I just wanted to do half my hair or my whole head, but I thought, you know what, why don't I just do all my hair? Be more fun. Ooh, starting. <laughs> How does it look? Oh, um, it looks very dark, but very purple. Oh, that's good. I really hope that it's like nice and vibrant. <laughs> this I color my hair now is because um, we're not allowed to like color our hair at school and, and all that have like crazy colors so I thought it's probably appropriate to do it now because at least well while we're doing homeschooling for like five weeks or something no one will be able to see my hair and at least the best thing is that if it doesn't turn out well no one's gonna see it <laughs> using all three of the tubes of dye in my hair and I'm hoping that it works. It should because that's a lot of dye but I can't really see how it looks but I'm pretty sure it looks pretty purple so I have to leave this in my hair for about half an hour to an hour roughly. Um, I, can't, I don't know what I'm going to do because I kind of have to just like sit here and wait for it because it's going to be all messy but yeah let's wait. Alright, so it's been at least an hour now and hopefully that's enough time for the colour to take to my hair. I'm um, probably thinking, why is it yellow, Grace? Um, I'm pretty sure it's just oxidised and I don't think that should affect it at all. But now it's time to wash it out and hope for the best. So by the way, this stuff is super messy. I mean like really messy. As anything it comes in contact with, it will definitely stain it. So that's why we put Glad Wrap all over the walls and everything like that. Hoping that it won't splatter everywhere. So let's start rinsing it out. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so we finished rinsing my hair now. Um, I can't really tell whether it's worked too much or not. It took a really long time to get all the dye out of my hair, but hopefully most of it's out now. Um, it still looks a little bit dark. I think I'll be able to tell more whether it's worked or not once I finish drying it, which I'm going to do now. So let's start drying. So I finished drying my hair, I also straightened it a little bit as well, but this is the final result. It might not look too purple, but like if you have like light shining on it, it looks like really purple. So I'm actually, I'm quite happy with it. Obviously I kind of want it to be maybe a little bit more purple, but otherwise I think it turned out pretty well actually. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I had so much fun dyeing my hair. Um, let me know if you guys want to see me ever dye my hair a different colour. I'd love to do that. Maybe like a red or a blue would be really cool next time. But I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.